Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel and Skyrim. Seeing as we're still in Raven Rock, I thought it would be a good time to do some quests that will lead us to have the opportunity uh, to buy a house here and also grab a unique weapon with a rare enchantment at the same time. Our final build is going to be around this enchantment and smithing storeroom armour. Sadly, we'll have to jump through hoops to get it, but it'll be worth it in the end. So, to start this quest, head towards Old Aetius Farm where you'll find a Dark Elf Captain Valeth fighting several Ashborn. So, just pop in the boys and uh, go for it. Ooh, there you go. Trying a bit more two handed, I'm still useless at it. <laughs> yeah, not doing too bad. That oh, missed. There you go. Okay, speak to Captain uh, Velith. Velith, Velith. What were those things? Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock, and they need to be stopped. I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. I'll be glad to lend you a hand. Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Very we well, where do I begin? When the Ash Spawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Okay, so literally uh, check the uh, remains of the Ashborn you just killed. Report back to me if you discover He's quite happy to uh, have us killed. Obviously not his guard. And that's what you're after. First one. <laughs> Declaration of war. And you can loot the other uh, bodies. Pick up some interesting stuff on occasions. And if you want it, you've got pauldron armor there, which is quite good. Have you found something? I discovered this note on one of the Ashborn. Strange. The note says it's from General Falk's Carius, but that's impossible. Impossible? Why? Well, Carius was the Imperial garrison commander at Fort Frostmouth. But he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. There's no way he could still be alive. General what do you want me to do? He's still alive. There must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm going to head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. Okay, so we've got to go off and kill General Foe. Fo Carius? Carius. There you go. And just a little bit of info, uh, Old General Kyrus was in um, Elder Scrolls 3. So he is actual law or canon. But sadly, something bad's happened to him, so uh, we're going to have to go and kill him. So I tend to sneak on through this way. Now, generally speaking, once I get here, I'll take uh, care of the guys outside first. Well, I don't have a choice because um, <laughs> oh, Bill and Ben always start a war. Okay, so you've got this guy in the tower here. Yeah, take care of him, lovely. Take care of him, lovely. And head straight up into the castle here. So they can start spawning straight away. Men, an invader has entered the fort. Prepare yourselves for an ambush. Good night. Fort Frostmoth will never fall. Long live the Empire! And head up into this tower. Yep, 
It's best to do it this way so you don't get anything coming up behind you. <laughs> and I think that takes care of everything outside. It's a fun little side quest, doesn't take long. And um, hopefully you see my Spider Scrolls uh, video. Uh, collect all the uh, the emeralds and rubies and jewels that you uh, you find, because you can use them to make Spider Scrolls or sell. You know, it's up to you. Okay, you're going to get into action straight away. Um, so never go through the store. And I've hotkeyed some two-handed potion. I'm determined to use my uh, long hammer a bit more. Even though I'm absolutely rubbish at it. <laughs> okay, I would hook a left up here. and take care of everything outside. I'm getting better with the old hammer. Okay, there's a little chest up here. Not sure if I've got those, not I think I do. Okay. Go on, guys, get out of the way. As always, guys, always collect ingredients on your travels. Okay, there's a few odds and bits and bobs around here. Um, I'll cut out a lot of the looting uh, I did. But you guys take your time. Okay, a little chest over here. Again, it's random leveled loot. Oh, close. Okay, I lost the two boys. You'll meet a couple of Ashbourne just down here. Some more potion. And I missed. <laughs> Did I start getting better? <laughs> I'm so rubbish. Uh, interesting here, just a, a letter. Um, and I'll let you read this uh, on your own. Quite a sad letter from one of the guys uh, that was posted here to his wife. Um, there's nothing you can do about it. It obviously was destroyed over 200 years ago. So anyway, there's a master chest in here. And we can find the key to that somewhere else. But first of all, we've got to go in here. There's some um, 
gem veins in here, which uh, I want to mine, and we we'll come, come across some spiders as well, which I have to kill. I'll quickly fast forward through this a little bit. Now, whatever you do, pick up all the albino spider pods, uh, damaged or good. Anyway, so we whip through this lot. Okay, now that's done, we head back out. And we go and get a key for uh, the boss chest there. So, hook just down here. Get the boys out. There's Bill and Ben. Nom some potion. I don't know why I'm doing this, I'm so crap. Oh. And. There you go. Oh, two hands increase to 40. Doesn't mean so many better. Okay, the key's in the satchel, you want to grab that. Have I got that one? No, I think I do. Okay, there's a few bits and bobs lying around here. And you've got the journal here. Um, I'll let you guys uh, read that yourselves. Essentially, it's all about necromancers trying to bring the general back to life, but uh, it all went horribly wrong for him. So, but it's very interesting, actually. And you get a leveled weapon in that coffin, which I missed completely. So whatever you guys, don't miss that. It's a decent uh, weapon you get in there, so I will have to go back for that. Question, do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> That's ridiculous, I checked all the coffins. Apart from that one. <laughs> what a burk. Anyway, back up here. Yeah, don't forget that one, guys. Quite often there, this is a really decent um, uh, thing to pick up. It's random and it's level, but it's usually very good. Okay. Freshen up Bill and Ben. And let's get ready to rock and roll. Now this can be a tough fight, by the way. It can be a very tough fight. There's a general. I'm just running straight at him and just, just kill him. And he's dead. Now just deal with this Ashborn. And job done. Now just go looting round um, and then return to Captain Velith. And here we go. I'll actually go through this in a little bit more detail at the uh, end, but um, it's got the uh, Chaos enchantment on it, which is 50% chance for each element of fire, frost, and shock, and does 39 points of damage. A super, super enchantment, and um, it's one you really want to get. Okay, don't forget to head back and loot the uh, master chest. 
I mean, I'm rushing through this, guys. You guys spend a lot more time uh, hunting around. There's uh, quite a few bits and bobs, uh, and so it's worth exploring the place in uh, a little more detail. So, again, this is uh, leveled random stuff. Okay, now let's make our way back to Raven Rock. All the way back, thank God for fast travel. Okay, where is he? He's in the guard room. Now, actually, you get a decent amount of uh, gold for doing this uh, quest. Actually, it's very decent, to be honest with you. Uh, but it also goes towards um, helping out a citizen in um, Raven Rock. What so, we should give you the opportunity to buy a property later on. I had my suspicions that he was undead. How else could he have survived for over 200 years? It's a shame. There are quite a few tales of General Curious's exploits, including the founding of Raven Rock. He will no longer send Ashbourne to Raven Rock. Told me to give this to you if you made it back in one piece, and you got rid of General Carius. Better than a soldier's pay, so you should be thankful. Okay, ten thousand gold added. That's pretty damn decent for a a, a little side quest. Thank you for your assistance. It's raised and I say, we've helped a citizen of Raven Rock as well, so it's all good. Okay, now let's have a look at this uh, weapon. Apparently, this is the only Imperial Warhammer in the game. It has Imperial symbols on the sides, and a section of the handle is wrapped in crimson cloth. Uh, a very unique looking weapon. This is the only weapon available for those looking to equip a fully armoured Imperial soldier at build with something other than a sword and shield. Now, with a stock base damage of uh, 29, sadly, the Champion's Cudgel can't be upgraded. It can, however, be disenchanted. So let's take a look at the enchantment. The Chaos Enchantment has a 50% chance of dealing Fire, Frost and Shock damage simultaneously, uh, affecting the target's Health, Stamina and Magicka. The Enchantment itself has eight different possible outcomes, with the majority of the time either one or two effects being delivered to your target. Uh, with two one-handed weapons enchanted with Chaos damage, there are 64 possible outcomes, with the majority of the time all the effects being placed, and a 1 in 64 chance for no enchantment damage being done. So this, enchant this is an enchantment we want. Don't forget, if you have the Augmented Fire, Frost and Shock perks, their effects will also apply to this enchantment, making this an awesome weapon. When you combine that with inherent effects of Star Room Armor, where resist frost and frost damage enchantments are 25% stronger when placed on Star Room items, chaos damage enchantments are also 25% stronger due to its frost damage effects, making this combination really, really powerful. Now, luckily, even though the chaos enchantment is very hard to find, it can be bought off Glover Mallory and off Deal Woodcut and Scar Village, and it can be found in random chests uh, around Solstheim. Uh, though I had to wait 48 hours seven times before an item come up with um, a Glover Mallory, uh, and it was very expensive for sure. But what that does mean is you can keep the Champion's Cudgel for use or as a trophy. So there you go, guys. A truly unique weapon. Enjoy. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.